What's going on guys? Welcome back to another weekend freight where I'm going to cover the nation and find the freight and show you guys where to put your truck to maximize the most profit this week and see how the market's doing. Um, a long time ago I figured out if you find out what markets are hot and those are the ones you keep your truck in, uh, you're always going to be rolling and uh, you're going to be rolling at a top rate as well. Um, in the description there's a link if you like what I'm about to show you here you can uh, click on it and try it out for free for 30 days. And as I always say, free is free and don't haul cheap with this tool. No matter what lane you're in, you will have the competitive edge when dealing with the brokers. Also, there's a link down there for who I choose to use for factoring. Uh, if you're looking for a factoring company, um, give my guy Mike a call. Click on that link. Uh, his number's in the, uh, on the link. Give him a call. Tell him I sent you. He will get you hooked up with the best factoring company in the nation. But let's dive right in here. And what I like to do here first is let's look at the national load counts, uh, the ratios, the trucks or loads either way going in versus needed to come out. Whereas Alabama showing 644 going in and they're needing 1,033 to come out. So it means there's a lot more freight there than trucks. So Alabama's good. Arizona's good. Arkansas's good. I mean, you get the GS, Georgia's good. Looks like most everybody's good. Missouri. Shoot you out. All right, guys, but the real nuts and bolts of this video is I'm gonna go around to the different freight hubs and by this, click right here. And uh, we're gonna start in Los Angeles and we'll work our way back around to the East Coast and the uh, Midwest. But I like Los Angeles to start out with because they got the high dollar freight usually coming back East. And today is the 15th. It's currently 2.57 Eastern time. So we're gonna knock this for today and tomorrow and uh, <clears throat> guys, here's what I've learned over the last couple years. Uh, whatever market's hot right now, it's, it's still gonna be hot in a couple days, possibly through the next week. Uh, hardly ever does a market just go from hot to cold. It usually stair steps down over a, a course of a few weeks. So Los Angeles is showing 5,000 loads in the market. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what kind of freight they got on. We're gonna put in here, we're gonna look for the uh, offer rates and this is just brokers uh putting their offer out there you know they put an offer out there like this right here you see that it makes you want to call them right uh 15 day average here on this load has been 50 or 87.60 or uh, 289 a mile and they're trying to push it for twelve thousand dollars so it tells you right there uh there's not enough trucks out there and you click over here and get the this See what they got to say about the, the load. Five picks, all Los Angeles. <laughs> so this load right here's got five picks. And is this van? Am I looking at van? You know, that's usually, yeah, it's van. That's usually a reefer thing. But five picks in Los Angeles, so we're not gonna look at that one. That's a that's something we don't want. We like one pick, one drops. So here's one offering for 9,500. They're a thousand dollars over the national or the 15 day average for this lane with the pro version guys you got to understand you get the 15 day average with the pro version that's what i'm using here it's 100 bucks a month i mean best money you'll spend uh 15 day average 85 they're pushing for 95 van 27,000. so good 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 load right there good load 9,000. cool 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 so there you go guys there's some nice freight in los angeles we're gonna bounce on up to norcal area we got Tracy, California. I'm gonna bump this up to 200 to get Sacramento and all the Bay Area <clears throat> and between. Uh, so NorCal has 1895, which is pretty good for NorCal. See the offer rates, what they got. They're gonna come in with uh, 95 to Jacksonville. I'd probably run this right here before I would that Rhode Island. But Jacksonville is just pretty close to Savannah and the ports down there in Savannah's usually got enough freight to get you back out and uh, bounce up there to Savannah, grab your load, go back to the Midwest. And uh, if you like coast to coast, I'd uh, head back over towards Cali and do it again. So NorCal's got some freight looking good. Let's shoot on up to Portland. Portland, Oregon. Bump this back to 120 miles. <clears throat> 335 exact loads. And what that means is in this 120 mile radius, there's 335. 
So outside that, maybe 150, 200, something, I don't know what the parameters are, there's 907. So there's some freight up there, guys, which is good, good, good. Let's see if they got any money up there. 7,000 to New Jersey? No, I'd rather go to Cali for that. Clock and mouse down to Concord for 65. And 65, man, this load's been pushing. The 30-day average, they must not have enough data for the 15. But for 30 days, it's been 76. And they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're low. Let's shoot up to Seattle and see what they've got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seattle's coming in with 248 exact loads, which is, yeah, yeah, it ain't that great. So I hope you get a good rate going up and coming out. You're not going to do as good. Let's shoot down to Kansas. <clears throat> Kansas shitty. Kansas coming in with 833. That's pretty good. Let's see what kind of money they got on these loads. Because everybody likes to see the money. We like to see the money over here. Five thousand to Oregon. See this? That's five thousand going up. And I don't know what that lane is coming back, but fifteen day on that's been forty four hundred, and and I'm not really sure what it was coming back. But anyway, uh, they're a little bit above. And guys, I got an idea. Think about doing another series of videos <clears throat> and do a, a live stream and check out different lanes like this right here. We could like cover this lane right here going from uh, Kansas City area up to Oregon and Portland and see what the averages are and coming back um, and just have a live video on that and cover, you know, five to ten different lanes. I think it'd be a good little idea. Good little interactive video. I just think it'd be pretty good because that's, that's one thing I like to do. I like to, in my free time, I like to search lanes. Like, I'm in the Chattanooga area, so I'm always looking for different lanes, whether it's up to Columbus, Ohio and back, or Dallas and back, or um, I don't like triangles that much. I just like to go up and come back, up and come back. So I'm always looking for those lanes that are hot, and um, I think it'd be a, a pretty good video segment to share with you guys, and even let some of you guys chime in and tell me or ask what uh, where you're located at, and we'll check some lanes on uh, where you live. So 1,233 in the St. Louis area, that's pretty good. Let's see what kind of money they got on their loads. <clears throat> it never fails. The moment I get on this, get on these videos and start talking, I start having dry throat and everything else. <laughs> oh, the joys of talking. So there's a $7,000 load. What's this right here? You see something like this when the average is 1849, and they got it for 7,000. You click over here. Roll down through here, and it's usually got what what the deal is on it. Uh, that might be a turn, you know, a turnaround run. It might be a dedicated run. It might be a couple different loads, but still worth the call. Check out the one to Bronx and uh, team dri driver required. <clears throat> so if you're in the St. Louis market, there's some uh, there's some good money on there. Like it's Carlisle. Carlisle is that's way over the average. Drop trailer at receiver, no. Now, if you need a reset and you don't mind to drop your trailer, go get a reset. That works out pretty good. But if you like to uh, just turn and burn and keep on earning, yeah, drop trailer's not good. Sometimes I can keep them for two days overnight. They're different things. Another van with team. So St. Louis is uh, <clears throat> looking healthy. Let's shoot down to Dallas. Dally, Texas. My last run. The last three runs. Actually, I came out of the house and went to Waco. And uh, one of the runs, I bounced down towards Houston and came back uh, to Georgia. And the other two, I bounced over right there in the DFW area and came right back home. And now I've been home for about a week. So, <clears throat> excuse me. rates what you got show me the money guys 62 to Washington van with team there's you one six thousand to Oregon uh, there, there's uh two picks Lancaster and Caldwell 
I wouldn't mind. I don't really mind two picks or two drops. I've done a quite a few of them. They're usually pretty easy in and out. I just don't want to do it at uh, DCs. <laughs> the ones that like to hold you up for three or four hours each. So Dallas has got 30, almost 3,500 loads. Let's go down to Houston. Houston, Texas. 3,300 loads. Man, it's super, still strong. Still strong. Dude, I, I ain't looked at this. I ain't looked at this board in at least a week and a half. And I think it's stronger now than it was. Los Angeles for seven. Man with team. Power only. That's a power only round trip team. Uh, power only round trip. There you go. La Mirada for 68. I used to run La Mirada a lot. When I would ran for company. That's power only load. Look at these TQLs got power. all these power onlys. Round trip must be team. No one's got some. It's a South Dakota. <clears throat> 32. They're trying to push for 55. Band with team. Tanker endorsement. Assist with receiver. It got a lots, lots and lots of stuff. Let's check out. Come over to Atlanta. Atlanta, y'all, yeah. Atlanta's got 4,300. Man, good, good God. I, I can't believe all these. Got money coming out of the home state here. 6,000 for Oregon. Nope. What's that been going for? They're right there, a little below. Solid wood floor. No reefers. 2,500. Pretty good. Atlanta's good. Let's try to speed this up for you guys. Let's go down to Savannah. <clears throat> Out there wrong. No, I didn't. Savannah's coming in with 1690. Let's see what they've got. Show us the money, guys. 5,000 Arizona, 5,000 to Colorado, 45 for Iowa, 600 above market rate average. Not too shabby. Ready to go back up to Sioux Falls, and I want to go back up to Fargo. There's a what is that guys? A, a TA or a Petro up there? It's got that little diner in there that uh, it's not a skillet, but they have uh, bison burgers. Oh, I'd like to get up there and get me one. It's been a minute. Jersey, South Dakota. So Savannah's got some freight. Let's go over check out Columbia. Sakakalaki. What you got? 30, almost 3,700 loads in that market. Lots of freight. <clears throat> 30, 60, 62, 62. I'm going to go with the Colorado. Anderson, California for 48. That lane's been going for. Lane's been going for about 66. So 48. Yeah, get out of here with that cheap shit. Van ship at 44,000. I don't want <clears throat> 44,000 across the country. That's a that's a hard pull. I've done it many times, but I'd rather have about 30 to 35 on. And I say 30 to 35. You get in high winds going coast to coast. You uh you tend to love that heavy weight in a trailer. Here's something going up to Alberta. 4,800 has been the average at 208 a mile. They're trying to push it for 41, 39,000 pounds. Yeah, nope. Looking good. Let's go over to Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina. 39 in the Charlotte market. Good God at all this. Well, guys, I said it a long time ago. I said it, what, six months ago. I said, I think this freight volumes, I think the market's going to stay hot at least through next year. And it's still showing, showing true. Showing true. So, Charlotte's 3,900. 6,000 on the board for some long runs. Yeah. 
show me a Cali. Well, that's a good one. South Carolina Grand Prairie for 4200 And that's just a round trip? Shit, no. Nope, we gone. I've been getting almost five grand just to go to Dallas and back, so yeah. I like this lane right here. Needs to have more money on it. 404 a mile. 404 a mile to go up to Albany. I like it up. I like that New York running. This not the New York New York New York area. Upstate and western New York. Mm. Yeah, I'd run it. All right, let's check out Richmond. Oh, wrong one. Sixteen hundred and fifty in the Richmond market. Not too shabby. As I'm gonna try to move this on loan and just check out the volumes. Let's bump, bump this up to two hundred for all that. Extreme Northeast, 4,000 loads and 200 miles of New York, New York. Let's check out Allentown. And I know Allentown is just right there. But that's cool. We're going to bump it down to 50 miles just to get the Allentown PA market. We're going to pick up a little Jersey, but that's all right. 750 mile radius of Allentown, so that's pretty good. Super solid. Allentown. Let's shoot over to Cleveland. Cleveland Market's another one of my favorite runs or lanes. Go up and come down. Easy money. 1121, so Cleveland's looking good. Columbus. Yeah. Speed this along, then I gotta get motivated to go do something. Been sitting around the house all day just watching TV and playing on my phone. Columbus market's 1800 eh, I figured it'd be a little better than that, but that's a lot of freight. Let's come down to the Cincy market. Cincinnati. Let's see what they got. 2500 in the Cincy market. Looking good, looking good. Let's go up to the Indy. Indianapolis, what you got? 2,600 loads in the indie market. Yeah, looking solid. Looking solid. St. Paul, Minneapolis area. Three hundred twenty-nine exact loads in the St. Paul, Minneapolis area. So that's pretty good for them. Let's see. Check out Chicago. What you got, Chicago? Coming in with forty-four. 32, 3200 in the Chicago market. So that's pretty damn good. And just before we get out of here, I got some people that wanted me to check uh, the Knoxville, Tennessee market. Ah, well, you gotta. The Nashville. Let's see what you got. 1600 in the Knoxville area. So that's looking good. Another seventeen hundred in the Nashville area, looking good. And I've got another guy. He wanted me to check freight going into Canada, so I'm going to. I'm just going to use Atlanta and uh, uh, let's see, Alberta. What's a good, hold on just a second guys. All right, let's check out what is, uh, what was I looking for? Calgary. Calgary, Alberta. There's one, one load. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's bump this up. That might help to say 200 miles. So the Atlanta market to Calgary's five exact loads. Let's bump this one up to 400 miles. And there's 24 exact loads. And let's change this over here to 
uh, Los Angeles. And we keep the specs the same. Uh, Los Angeles to Calgary. There's 50 exact loads. Not a lot of freight, guys. But I will say this. I just showed you this to, to say this. That board is an American-based company, and Canada's got their own load board up there. And, uh, well, yeah, they, they're going to cover more freight than what we have. We can see a lot of freight across the country going in, but, you know, it's not going to ca ca cover the majority of the Canadian freight. But there is freight here. There is freight. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of the house. I feel like I'm going getting cabin fever. So I'm going to get out here, out there and do something uh, before I go back to work. But guys, uh, no matter where you're running, I think you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> Everybody I know is making three, four, five, six dollars a mile everywhere they go. So just keep on doing what you're doing. Hustle hard and uh, take, still take advantage of this market. Stack up all you can because when it does come crashing down, you're going to wish you had a lot of money in the bank. And you're, then you're probably going to wish you would have seized the opportunity. I uh, experienced that back in 2018. And uh, well, we ain't done it this time. We've stacked up quite a bit. Anyways, guys, until that next video, see you. Bye.